Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit Android photos like iPhone. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be looking for a way to actually edit your Android photos uh, to make it look like they were edited in iPhone. Well, there's actually a way for us to do this as long as you have an access on the following app, which in this case is going to be Google Photos. Now, what we need to do is we need to open up Google Photos here. So typically it's going to be a, a fan or some leaf or flower looking like this one. So it has a yellow, green, blue, and red color on it. Let's go and open it up. Now, this is by name is Google Photos. So let's go to our library and look for our photos. So in this case, any photo you have on your device will appear in here. So in this case, let's go and click on downloads here and choose our photo. So we have this photo here. So what we need to do first is we now need to edit this. Just click on edit at the bottom section. And from here, what we need to do is we first need to add a filter, which is going to be the vivid filter here. Now once you've chosen that, just click on save copy and you should now have a copy of that photo with that specific type of filter. Let's go and click on edit again. Now from here, what we need to do next is we now need to edit this one. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to the tools section. So we want to go to adjust. So instead of tools, go to adjust here. So what we need to do is we now need to change some values here. First is going to be brightness. Let's go and choose brightness here. And we want to set this to nine. So in this case, let's go ahead and choose nine here. So this might take a while. So in this case, once you've done that, we now need to go to contrast. So go ahead and click on contrast and set this to around 100. So in this case, it's going to be at the very end here. And from here, we now need to choose the section for highlights. Let's go ahead and go to the right section, click on highlights. And from here again, make it make sure that it's actually set to 100. Now we want to go to shadows next. Now set this to 20. Now in this case, once you've done that, all we need to do next is we now need to set saturation. Let's go ahead and go to the right side here, click on saturation, set this to 40. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to 40 here. And once you've set that, we're now ready to go to warmth. Let's go ahead and go to warmth here. And we now need to set this into negative 15. In this case, let's go ahead and choose negative 15 here. And now we want to choose tint. Let's go ahead and go to tint here and set this to five. So it's just going to be a little bit here. And now next is skin tone, which is the value for it. It's going to be 15. Now, once you've set that, you are now good. Go ahead and click on done. And just click on save and copy. And you should now have a photo that looks like it was taken or edited in iPhone. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.